Check-in speeds up at the Suwarnapum Airport for travelers. Thailand will now provide birth control for women in the country and a lot more stories from around the country here on today's Good Morning Thailand. Hello, I'm Jay. I am Maddie. Ladies and gentlemen. I actually had a lot of fun. A lot of fun, yeah. Hello and welcome to Good Morning Thailand. This show is brought to you by Andamanda Water Park. We've got quite a few topics to talk about, some of the headlines around Thailand. So thank you for joining us here on a Monday morning. Starting with, you're going to have a speedier journey next time you travel out of Thailand. Because Ooh. guess what? Thailand's come up with a new PVS check-in system that's not only going to make it faster, but also safer next time you travel using Swarnapum Airport in Bangkok. Now, what is a PVS system, you ask, Nettie? Yeah, I did. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it is called a passenger validation system. So... Mm -hmm. Uh, basically, what's going to happen is that it's just going to be more efficient and it's going to be a lot safer when you do travel. It's just going to be a system that's going to check the validity of your boarding pass. I see. Uh, it's going to have your travel information just to make sure you're the right person traveling. You're, you're not using a fake boarding pass or mm -hmm. fraud, you know, your fraudster trying to get into areas that you're not supposed to be in. I think it's already implemented for Thai people, but not for foreigners, this system. Yes and no. Now, so for example, this is going to be both for international travelers and domestic travelers. Mm -hmm. International travel generally is a lot more safer, but for domestic travel, if, if you're traveling outside, yeah. right? So I can print my boarding pass at home. I could Photoshop it if I really wanted to, <laughs> and I could go to the airport and I could get through the first initial screening just to get near the baggage area and into the terminal. Mm. They don't actually scan yeah, oh, no. they your, don't. Your boarding pass. Yeah, oh, they just okay. check. They right. they check your boarding pass with your ID. They just check the date, check the name, mm -hmm. and then you're pretty much in. Yes, you won't be able to get into the plane basically, like you you know, because there's another additional mm. uh, security check. But to speed up the initial process, the airport kind of made a system where they just have security guards checking the basic information if you're supposed to be there. And yeah, people can sometimes come up with fake boarding passes mm -hmm. i don't know for what exactly for what purpose <laughs> to have the brilliant amazing food in the terminals possibly <laughs> but no more starting september the first safer mm. well that's good yes the new systems will bring a bangkok's main airport up to international standards mm. uh, in passenger security requiring passengers to go through an automated screening process at kiosk there's going to be about i believe 11 on the fourth floor which is the departing this is only at Suwarnabhumi, right? That is right. This is uh, starting at Suwarnabhumi Airport. Okay. Do you? What that, do you? What do we feel about this? That's good. I feel it's safer. It's a more international standard, like they said. Yes. Mm. Yes, yeah, which is good. It'll be fast and accurate. Mm -hmm. There will be people around. So if you're worried that oh I don't know how to use this, is there going to be someone around? Yes, there will be people around helping you out. Mm -hmm. And mo most of the times there are. It's not like that system where you're like oh. I'm going to go there and there's no one going to be there to help me. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it, it, Suwarnapum's improved a lot, it, especially in the last 10 years. You have it, traveled a bit, right, recently? I've traveled a little bit. Have I? You went to Phuket. Oh, domestic travel, yes. Yeah, so what's the process recently? Was it, like, inconvenient? Was it oh, no, a lot of people? Oh, no, it's extremely fast. Yeah. There's, there's no inconvenience. You can just, because you don't even have to go to the check-in counter, because uh, if you don't have any check-in luggage, mm. you can, I just arrive at the airport, put in my booking, uh, th there's a kiosk, mm. put in my booking number, print out my boarding pass, go through the first security, they just check my ID, my boarding pass, go through first security, go through the second security, I'm in. Mm. The whole entire process from the check-in to the plane would take maybe 10 minutes and that's because it's a little bit of a walk. That's mm. the only, only reason. Okay. But yeah, um, this is just going to make things a bit safer. And uh, safer is always better at the airport. I agree. And, uh, you know, during crowded times, and if, if there are too many people, you just scan, 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 and go through. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Who doesn't like a good scan? <laughs> right? Yeah. Anyways, anyone with questions, once again, can call 1722 to speak with Swarnapum Airport's call center. Good luck with that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, moving on to our next topic. Mm. I, um, you actually have an update on uh, yeah. former Prime Minister. Brady. Who is now Defence Minister. 
Uh, so many of you might wonder after the constitutional court verdict last Wednesday, where they asked the prime minister to pause and not work as a prime minister anymore, while the matter of his eight years tenure is still considered by the court. So many of you wonder when will the answer come out? When will we know? So according to experts, we will know the answer the soonest in 30 days. So there is a 15 day window for former Prime Minister Prayut to submit evidence and documentation to support his case and another 15 days or more for the court's deliberation. So he have maximum, okay, at least not maximum, 30 days to, uh, you know, try to appeal. And the Constitutional Court will allow General Prayut to present whatever he has or whatever he thinks could help him with the case. And then we will see what the verdict is. And many of you might wonder what will happen to General Prawit, who is now the caretaker. Uh, he is the acting prime minister as of right now. And how long can he stay in the position also depends on the court's verdict. So we'll have to see in 30 days and we'll keep you up to date. All right, and once again, you can always find the latest information on thetiger.com. Should I do one more story before we go to the break? Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's about the Pao Tang app. Ooh, Good. Thai people love it. Yeah, do you? Or... Okay, well, do you use it sometimes? Before, not before. now. <laughs> All right. Continue. Well, good news <laughs> for uh, women around Thailand. The Pao Tang app provides free birth control oh, from the good. NHSL. Ooh, okay. That's right. The Thai government is addressing unwanted pregnancy in the country, and it's going to provide free birth control for women around Thailand. You have to be a, a, a Thai lady, obviously, mm -hmm. a Thai national citizen, and you can order it up to 13 times oh. in a year. Mm -hmm. okay. That's right, in case you lose one, okay. I guess. It's only 12 months in a year, last yeah. time I checked, but <laughs> you can, yeah, because the contraceptive pills last you basically a month. You can order up to 13 times a year uh, between the ages of 15 to 59. Okay. That's right. Uh, the campaign was tra uh, created to try and slow the frequency of unintentional and unwanted pregnancies, which has actually been on the rise since 2016. Uh, and yeah, birth control campaign is being launched by the National Health Security Office. So ladies, if you would like to get some birth control, you now can using the Pao Tang app. It's not just good news for ladies, it's also good news for men as sure, well, because yeah. you yeah. have dual responsibility there, yeah. I feel. Mm. And I just want to talk about the Pao Tang app a little bit. I think okay. it's very popular amongst locals because okay. it's the way that the government connects with the people through the, all their campaigns. Like let's say the 50-50 campaign where they pay half of whatever. Mm -hmm. And they also gave out free ATK tests through the Pao Tang app as well. Okay. So Pao Tang app is basically a necessity for Thai people. Mm. Right. It's been quite successful so far, yeah. I, I think, yeah. yeah. Well, well, when you register, you can actually uh, order up to three packs uh, of contraceptive pills uh, at the time. Oh. And for those of you who are less tech savvy, that's okay, because you can actually go and collect it in person as well. Mm. Uh, Convenient. Yeah, you can, or I believe, uh, yes, you can order and pick it up in person uh, with hospitals and medical centers that are registered under the NHSO. Okay. That's right, so... Good news for people who want birth control. Yes. Yay. Okay. And those are some of the <laughs> updates before we take a quick break. Uh, please do join us after the break because we've got some uh, interesting stories coming up, including snakes are a problem and Natty's continued obsession with drugs. <laughs> so you'll find out more after the break. <sighs> Welcome back. This show is brought to you by Andamanda Water Park. Visit Andamanda Water Park if you'd like a nice sunny day out enjoying slides. You know, I told my dad about this and he was asking me, uh, are there slides for both adults and kids? And I said, well, there's actually one for toddlers, mm. a designated oh. area just for little toddlers where parents can go with them. Then there are some slides, you know, maybe more for kids, but definitely some amazing slides um, for, for adults. Mm. It was actually designed uh, by the people who did, I believe, Disneyland. Yes, correct. Yes. That's yeah. right. So there's something out there for everyone. Visit Andamanda Water Park in Katu next time you travel to Phuket. Yes. For a wet and sunny day out. Fingers and crossed. 
Yes, and I'd also like to thank Breath Inspired. Thank you very much for being a Tiger member. We appreciate oh, you. Wow, thank you. And your support. You. Nice. He's Breath Inspired. Breath Inspired. Yeah, breathe in from your nose and breathe out from your Can nose. Can I just say, yes. Breath Inspired, if this is Stuart and Gam, hello. Uh, we did a Wim Hof video oh, okay. and at the Breathe Inspired uh, facility. So oh. I think it is it them. them. I think it, could it is be them. them. Thank you very much for the support. Yes, and for those viewers who are wondering what I'm talking about, do uh, I mean, stick by because on Saturday we're going to launch a Wim Hof Method video. Yes. Mm. Natty's really into health these days. Yeah, yeah. she is. Health For our next wellness. story, Natty and her obsession with drugs. Oh, no. Please. <laughs> health. It's, yes. it's health. It's <laughs> And wellness. Yes. yes. So we all know that we, uh, how do you say this? Like we legalized cannabis to some extent. And now good news for people who like that kind of stuff because we further legalized Gratom as well. That's right. Now for those of you who do not know what Gratom is, it's a Southeast Asian plant and it's native here and it's used as a mild stimulant and painkiller. Now, the law, the Kratom Act of 2022, uh, allows people now to sell Kratom based products in foods and beverages. Oh, okay. Before that, they only allowed you to sell Kratom in the form of plants and leaves only. Yeah. Oh. So now you can kind of mix it into food and sell it to people. But beware, do not sell it to people who are pregnant, lactating, or breastfeeding, right? Okay. So those are the people you can't sell them to, or underage kids. Anybody under 18, it's still illegal. Mm -hmm. Now, the new law comes with some restrictions, however. It prohibits the import and export of kratom leaves without approval from the Narcotics Control Board. Those who import or export without the permission risk a max maximum fine of up to one year or 100,000 baht, or both. And it's also um, illegal, as I said, to sell it to uh, people who are under 18. If you do, then you face uh, a fine of up to 30,000 baht. And people also will not be allowed to sell kratoms in schools, dormitories, or public parks. And if you do, uh, the maximum fine is 50,000 baht. Now, do you know um, that actually kratom has been used wildly down deep south in Thailand as yep. a recreational I've heard. Yeah. 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 Nam Kratom. Nam Kratom, right? Yeah. And there's actually like a very famous uh, Kratom drink. I'm not promoting it, just but it's a little bit of a fun background for you. It's called Four Times 100. And the reason why it's called Four Times 100, it's because it's a cocktail mixed out of like really weird ingredients. Number one, obviously, they have the Kratom brew, the Ooh. tea itself. Then they have cough syrup. Oh. And then they have an energy drink. Typically, they put... M150 in it. Okay. But the last one is something that blows my mind. You know the fluorescent or light bulbs? Yeah. They take out like how do you call it like the 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 insides of it and then they mix it into that drink. And apparently is it, it safe? Gives, it's not safe. So euthanization in Thailand yeah. was illegal. <laughs> but but apparently it gives you a lot of high, a lot of buzz and you don't walk normal afterwards. I mean, and they kind of like to do that recreational after hearing the out. ingredients I'm not surprised. <laughs> no, yeah. Ever ever heard of the wild wild south? Uh, <laughs> yeah. That's a whole new movie in itself. Right. So basically Kratom lovers and Kratom users felt that they weren't feeling enough love looking at all the cannabis infused, mm. infused food. So basically now you can make ca uh, Kratom infused yeah. food and products. Basically it kind of has similar effects to mm. cannabis itself. It's just like a, a plant that is native to Southeast Asia, okay. which I think I it's yeah. nice. I mean like sure. if you have to kind of import buds from California or whatever. Why not just use a plant that's already naturally grown sure. here yeah, that true. can give uh, the same benefits? However, the government is worried that people will use it recreationally. So hopefully this time um, they're going to put in good rules that people only use it for medical purposes only. And we'll see how that rolls out. Mm. Yeah. You can see it if you're if you're down south. I don't see it much in Bangkok, but if you're down south, you you see a random pickup truck just parked on the side of the road with just buy kratom like kratom yeah. leaves, and you can buy it uh, per kg. Yeah, it depend, doesn't taste depending good. on how much you use. Yes, and it can be used in the right way, and it can also be used in the wrong way. Mm. All right, moving on to our next uh, topic, something our editor Jason would definitely yeah. disagree with. He's a reptile it. lover. But this is uh, uh, our next topic, which I can only call as snakes. They're a problem. 
And in Bangkok. Did you know that snakes are a problem in Bangkok? Did you, have you ever imagined that before? No. I would have not imagined that. Right. No. So according to Bangkok's 199 hotline, they have been receiving a call every 15 minutes wow. from members of the public asking them to help deal with snakes which have entered their homes, which averages to more than 100 cases a day. Whoa. Isn't that mind-blowing? 100 yeah. cases of snakes yeah, per, day per day in Bangkok. Yeah. But Bangkok is big though, so I'm thinking like they're not in a Seok area or Tongla area. They must be like out. Outside. out. Yeah. yeah. So the figures were released after a Bangkok resident recently, I think on Friday, posted a picture online of a large boa constrictor hanging from a tree in Dindang district, spurring a strong response in the neighborhood and saying, that it's not safe how can a huge snake be hanging in the middle of the streets so they went to ask the rescuers and ask how common this is so the rescuers are saying that despite 200 calls are made daily requesting assistance with pets with pests Sorry, such as snakes. Also, water monitors are oh, also yeah, a problem, are. especially water during monitor lizards. Yeah, okay. especially during the rainy season, and wasps apparently is oh, a, another problem in Bangkok. So, but snakes make up half of the calls. Uh, so yeah, so why is there a problem in Bangkok? Because people don't eat snakes here in Bangkok. This is according to experts. <laughs> They say that people in Bangkok don't eat snakes. Therefore. There is no predator, so they could just easily find food like dogs, cats, or chickens that is like widely spread. So that's why they're abundant, and it's also during the rainy season where they're mostly coming out. So yeah, that's another fun story. Not really fun, but it's like a fun fact for you that Bangkok has snake problems. Right. So if we ate them, it wouldn't be as much of a problem. I it's just. Not. To why people are asking. Do your like part, why. Natty. Do your part. I yeah, will. You know, I don't I mind. Do it <laughs> I don't for mind. your people. Do it for the public. I can't eat city. all Have you the tried 100 snakes, snakes though. I've never. Yeah, me too. But I'm curious. <laughs> <With Natty. laughs> Sarah's not approving this. <laughs> In a corner somewhere, Jason's <laughs> looking like, horrified at one Hiding Natty his Marisa. snakes. Yeah. <laughs> all right, we're going to take a quick break. Once we come back from the break, we'll be taking your questions, members. So if you do have any questions, and if you haven't asked yet on any of the topics we've spoken about, please leave them in the chat now, and the voice of God will address them. So we'll be back right after this. Conversation and have your voice heard. Discuss the issues, share information, and get information. Tiger Talk is where you keep in touch with everything Thailand. Go to thetiger.com forward slash talk. Welcome oh back. no, sorry, sorry. As Natty reduces her volume and watches <laughs> the YouTube live stream, it's now time to address uh, your questions, comments, and feedback, members. Uh, before we do that, actually, last week, PG Santa um, told us about uh, a man called Carl Watson. Oh, yeah. Now, he's a YouTuber. We searched him up, and he does travel documentaries on YouTube. Very successful YouTuber. Uh, and he traveled to Thailand, <laughs> and he actually reacted to the fact that we had no idea who he was. Yeah, I saw the video you guys opened. <laughs> <laughs> we did. And uh, uh, firstly, I would like to say that was very well done, Carl. If you're watching, it's probably not. But if you are watching, Carl, it was very well done. He did like a little bit about... Uh, how we had no clue who he was. and uh, But now we do, Carl, and, and we did comment on his video. Uh, thank you very much for that. Uh, and we hope you had a good time in Thailand. I don't know if you're still here, but uh, yeah, look forward to hopefully meeting you in the future. There were also some comments, and I'm going to hide away from it. There were some comments, after we commented, there were some comments underneath talking uh, about some people just being haters, and I, I just mm. want them to know as well, haters, if you're watching, I'm so glad you're not here anymore. Mm. <laughs> Moving on. Yep. Everybody has trolls, right? Yeah, and we've yeah. tried our best to get rid of as many trolls as we can. And it takes me pleasure to see that they're somewhere else now, <laughs> hating on someone else. Because they've got to move on because they have no life. Uh, let's take some comments and feedback from some of our members. Enter the chat. The voice of God. Hello. Yes, yeah, yeah, hello. Well done. Hi. Well Why done, do Carmel. Pause? It, it She's makes back. me anxious of when to say hello. She's back after her adventures on Friday. <laughs> yes. Adventures. That's that's what I had. Anyways, the first comment, it's not related to what you guys talked about today, but I wanted to address it. PG Santa said, 
I'm tired of my Thai sucking. Anyone have a good experience with an online program or application to get better with Thai? I have a couple of expat friends actually, and they use um, this is a free plug almost. But uh, there's this girl called Banana Thai or something, and oh, apparently she's her. really good. Do you know her personally? Yeah, I know her personally. Yeah, yeah. she's she pretty is cool. good. Yeah. yeah. So, so in case you want to Banana look, Thai. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Banana Thai. Oh. So look her up. You can do Zoom classes with her as well. She's very fun and entertaining as right. well. Right. Is she a YouTuber? Mm, yeah, a bit. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, she does YouTube. She just Thai. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Next one is from a comment from Thailand Found. Question, Carmel. Be sure to bring up Natty's comedy night. Ah. How was your improv night? Oh, it was so <laughs> much it was very, fun. It was very good. Oh. And Jay got roasted. I did get roasted. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so we oh. went uh, to the comedy club Bangkok. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and uh, saw one Natty Warisa doing her improv with her colleagues. And it was a great night, wasn't it? It was. It what was a so night. much what a fun. Night. I'm so I, happy. And it was all came. improv, and it wasn't planned. And I think it was what Cards Against and Humanity I improv. The theme. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was really cool. And then at the end, <laughs> they did an improv because there was quite. Uh, there's a couple of people from uh, the, tiger. Uh, the Tiger. The Tiger, and we were very privileged and blessed that they took a moment to address the fact that we were there. Yeah. And they did a. a improv session on, <laughs> <laughs> on Jay's day, day. Day in the life yeah, of Jay. Day in the life of Jay. It was so accurate. It was hilarious. <laughs> it was it was it was such a good night. It was such yeah. a good night. We all had a great time. Everyone there uh, was uh, in in great spirits and great mood. So big shout out to Comedy Club Bangkok and everyone involved in that. Also, can I just give a big shout out to Henry Kim as well? Oh yeah, Henry, oh, Henry Kim. Such a there dedicated audience member yeah. on the Tiger and like a personal fan of ours as well like Tiger thank you yeah. Henry yeah. Kim, thank you for coming it was yeah, nice seeing you. you oh he was there at the improv yes yeah. he was oh, nice hi henry <laughs> Sorry, what was your colleague's name the one that was the host oh drew mccready drew, yeah. drew. Was so good drew was awesome oh he's so hilarious good. guy i'm gonna bring him on for a podcast cool. and he said yes so that's nice oh, that's yeah well awesome. drew we hope to see you here soon on tiger thank you for an amazing night for all of us um all right any more <laughs> questions uh, yes, uh, for the topic about Bangkok Airport speeding up its check-in system, Marky Mark said, I don't even mind waiting a few extra minutes if security is increased. I've already waited over three years to come back to Thailand. So a few oh. more minutes is nothing. Fair. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Mm. For the next comment, it was about the legalized crut home plan. Mm. Sick Puppy said, a stimulant and painkiller. What could go wrong? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, you have to use it in the right dosage. That's why the government's like trying to kind of how to call it, like put some measurements on making it medical again. Mm. So we'll see. Sick puppy, who are you kidding? Don't lie to me, <laughs> sick puppy. I know you Googled it immediately. Where can I test this out? Four times 100 yeah. Yeah. deep south. <laughs> yeah. Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> so uh, when you guys were talking about the snake problems in Bangkok, you also showed footage of the snakes that were found. Yeah. And Franco Seven said, "This is a big snake," and they were all saying that large is not is an understatement. You know, like that's it was Enormous. really big, the one in the tree. Yeah. yeah. And Tech Symbol said, "And you guys think Australia is bad for creepers?" <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I met Franco Seven. Oh, oh yeah, sure? me too. On Friday night. Oh what? what? Yeah. Where? Really? That's right. Where? That is right. Uh, so, uh, oh wow! Like, Why didn't you tell us? No, no, no! You guys weren't there. It was when we were we all were leaving. Oh. I was about to get a, a taxi back home. Okay. And I saw I just saw Frank O Seven random walking back to his condo. Oh no! And I was like Frank, and he's like Jay. I was like, oh hey. Oh no! This is it was not a good home. moment. It was a nice moment. Oh, he didn't see me. No, you all. Okay, you all okay. Back. I was I, about I, to ask. Gone. Okay, good. This good. was. Post Natty oh, post and me. Sarah. Okay, good. Actually, yeah, okay. he commented a while ago, guess who I bumped into after Natty's improv and coincidentally you're talking about it. So he replied, it was nice to talk with Jay's girlfriend to talk in German and got some interesting secrets about Jay last oh. year. Oh. Gossip. oh, Gossip. Franco Gossip. Seven knows all the dirty deets. <laughs> uh, but yeah, very nice to meet you too, Franco, uh, to run into you. He, he was actually here for three months. I believe he's extended his trip for an extra week because you just can't have enough of Thailand. Of course. Mm. Yeah. That is all I got. That is all we have. All right, um, ladies and gentlemen. Wait, do you have more? Comments? We do have a suggestion. F okay. uh, there was a comment from Philip Wee. 
He said, since the Tiger is a Thailand lifestyle channel, together with news updates and discussions, yeah. may I suggest a written blog section, and I think we already do, and videos featuring breakfast and dinner buffet at various hotels. Ooh. A written blog. Do we have a I written blog? I think written we kind blogs of do, we yeah. do, like like just about like buffets in general. Oh yeah, on but Instagram then for especially. Videos. They're asking for and on videos. The website too. I will take Natty, on that project. Yeah, Natty <laughs> hogging all the buffets to. around Can I Thailand. join? Yes, okay. please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that is all I got. That's going to increase our production cost by 15000 <laughs> per month. You know, <laughs> Natty going and munching no, down. That's actually a good comment. Can I just address this really quick? Yes. A lot of our viewers believe that we are getting paid to do certain oh. contents, but we're not. You know, like... Uh, recently the donut video that we did some people said like oh this is now a promotional site we didn't get paid a single bot for that video yeah. and similarly uh the n subsequent videos that are going to be released uh this saturday and next saturday they're not sponsored like i personally want to do these videos by myself but of course like i'm easily entertained so my 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 impressions of them are very good my reviews of them are good and yeah. that's what makes them believe that we're paid we're not being paid yeah and she's very honest so you can actually believe that she's telling you the truth <laughs> as well yes. yeah. and, and and there's no uh there's very we're very transparent with a lot of our viewers i think it's very clear for the people watching us to know who our sponsors are like mm. who's the sponsor for gmt mm. i literally say it in the first five seconds mm. welcome to gmt sponsored by yeah. and amanda waterpark mm. uh, thank you by the way we're very fortunate to have yes. you and amanda waterpark and thank you to all our sponsors of course as usual but uh, yeah yeah Natty's right uh, we like to experience new things we want to show our viewers that these experiences are, are available mm. and what better way to gen actually go and physically do it mm -hmm. Uh, I agree. Like when we went and had that buffet in Lumpini Park, what do you think we, yeah, we're going to swindle them out of a 50 bar buffet? Oh, I wish I could on, join. It's only, oh, yeah, we can go again. There's only a very few of them yeah. who, who think that. But if, if there was any confusion, it has now been cleared. Also, mm. to, yesterday was the last day for your entrance of the Tiger oh, yes. T-shirt competition. Yeah. All your entries are in and the, the Tiger panel will sit today. There's about seven members who shall be unnamed. I'm going to call it the Tiger's Faceless Men. Oh, wow. The All men? The Faceless Men. Only no, men? It, it's just the, it's the group from, from Game of Thrones. Oh. You can, you can oh, be yeah. a male or a female. They're just called the Faceless Men. Okay. Because ah. you've been binge wa watching. Your girlfriend told that's, me that, this that's information. Right. <laughs> May All I right. address a donation? Ooh, PG yeah. Santa! Oh, yes. Sure, Sponsoring for a new desk. Oh. <laughs> forever new desk thank you all thank right you. cool <laughs> thank you very much for a new desk all right well we've kind of moved away from our laptops and more to our ipads ipads and smaller you know. screens yes. we we've been peer pressured but yes. also b to provide a better viewer experience so we hope you enjoyed today's uh, episode uh as for now i'd like to say thank you Natty. thank you and thank you to sarah thank you, thank you to carmel the voice of god for blessing us with her presence thank you. <laughs> as well as hot and shy behind the buttons we hope you have a great day and uh, we'll see you next time bye 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 <laughs>